Hi guys, it's me Donut. Um, I'm going to make this video is about the third and fourth job skills for shadowers. Um, I see a lot of threads about like what skills are best and everything else, so I'll go through those. Um, keep in mind my damage range. I want to say I'm just above average as far as my weapons and stuff go, and all my equipment. So. I'm above average, but I'm not like ridiculously godly or anything, so don't get that wrong idea. But here's my attack range if you want to like have an idea of how much damage I do compared to you or how much you will do. And keep in mind my level 2. Um, I'm going to have to keep moving along on these skills because of the time limit on YouTube, just to make sure I have enough time. So let's get started. Uh, for Chief Bandit, Shield Mastery, it increases your weapon and magic defense permanently. No buffs, it's passive. See, that's why they're red. Okay. Nothing special, it doesn't help too much, but there's really nothing else, and I don't use chakra at all, so might as well just put in shield mastery. Pickpocket is a activated buff. This is the skill. And at max level, you'll drop mesos at a 60% chance from monsters, and this skill, I would say max it. A lot of people pre-Big Bang said not to max it, but I'd say right now to max it. There's really nothing else to max, so why not? Um, and it's the shortest buff time, so don't, it's 150 seconds, which is close to the other main skills you use, but it'll run out first compared to Shadow Partner or Haste or Meso Guard. So keep that in mind too, as to when you activate your buffs. Meso Explosion is your primary Meso attack, and that's where the your Shadow has a plunger, <laughs> just, you know, Explodes mesos. Um, mesos explode to the left and right of you. Keep that in mind when you're exploding them. And they explode in the order of when they were dropped. Not in which direction you're facing or any other kind of reason. Um, and it does hit boss monsters more than normal monsters. Normal monsters at max level it hits 10. But boss monsters it'll hit 15. So keep that in mind too. Uh, obviously max this. This is mainly what you use at Lionheart. Um, Dark Flare, I maxed it, but honestly, I never even bothered using it, just because Shadowers have such a high avoidability anyway, and so it's like, even when it does hit, it's like only once every like 10, 15 seconds, so don't expect it to be amazing or anything. Um, but I just maxed it because, again, there's really nothing else to max. Chakra, you only put three points in. It, all Chakra does is just increases your HP by a certain amount when it's less than 50%. Nothing special. I prefer to use potions. The only time I could ever conceive of you using this is if you're 1-1 one, one, or just 1 um, in Dojo because if you have Mace Guard on, you're... Uh, yeah. No, never mind. Uh, if you Basically, if you're low on HP in Dojo but you have enough MP, the only reason why I could think of to use Chakra is in Dojo. Uh, I just kept that at 3 just because I only needed it for Mesoguard. Guard. Um, Assaulter, I would max. Some people say you don't need to, but there I don't know. There's been a couple of threads I've seen on Basil about, um, for some reason, people not maxing Assaulter. But I would have maxed it. You get the 25% boost on it, too, so it's, always, it, it's good damage. I'll, I'll show you guys the skill. And it, 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 all the dagger-wielding attacks... Uh, uh, drop mesos, as you can see. It does pretty good damage. Here, I'll go down below so you guys can see the numbers better. It does good damage. I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't max it. It is pretty good. So, yeah. Um, keep that in mind. Um, and it hits three times. A lot of people wonder why it hits three times instead of one. And guys, I gotta say, the only conceivable reason why it hits three times is because it helps drop more mesos for meso explosion. Because, I mean, yeah, I know, it could be easy enough just to make it one hit, you know, and do, like, whatever amount percent times three for one hit. But I think it's to make Mesos drop a lot more often. Uh, Band of Thieves, I would say, would be your first skill to probably max when you become a Chief Bandit. Just because it's a great mobber. As level one Band of Thieves is better than Steel. Like, I have my Steel at 11 because I wanted max Shadow Resistance. See, Steel's only 11. And level 1 Band of Thieves hit the, hits just as many monsters as level 11 Steel, and it does more damage. So I max that first. Um, 
course, I trained the Jesters too, which only has four. So I guess if you wanted to, you could stop before it hits five, which I think is max level. So you might as well max it out. But uh, that's what I would do first. Um, Shadow Partner, pretty plain and simple. Same, the same thing as Night Lords and all the other bandits, and it obviously consumes summoning rocks, so make sure you have plenty of those. Flash Jump, same thing. Most people know this. Oh, so popular Flash Jump. Nothing special. Uh, Mace Guard, um, it blocks, it, okay, a lot of people sort of misunderstand how it works, especially if you're not, if you're new to bandits, it's very misinterpreting. Uh, no matter the level of Mace Guard, it'll always block 50% of your damage. Level 1, level 10, it doesn't matter. Always block 50%. The difference between level 1 and 110 is the MP cost and the amount of mesos that are taken from the 50% that is not hit to you and the duration. So, max, so you always get blocked for 50%. So, let's, so max level for meso guard is 61%, okay? If you get hit for 200, Meso Guard will block half of that, so you'll get hit for 100. Then what it does is, it, in order to compensate for the 100 damage that's not taken to you, it'll take 61 Mesos out of your inventory. So that's like the most simple example I could think of. So run with that. It's just a very simple mathematical just percent that's taken away. And actually, a lot of people think that it's a way to like, uh, get rid of you know it's a cheat it absorbs your mesos a lot it really doesn't guys it actually saves a lot of your mesos and here's the animation in case any of you guys want to know um all right moving on to fourth job those are pretty simple it's not that hard Ta okay a couple of these i did play on tespio when they were when they are out so don't i'm sorry that like taunt and ninja ambush don't aren't maxed um, but honestly, they just quite frankly suck. They, I don't even know when I would max them. Probably like 190, 180. So don't worry about taunt or ninja ambush. Um, Meso, I would say the first thing you'd want to max out is Meso Mastery. It's it'll save your Mesos and it really helps that Lionheart because there's a lot of things it does. It, it drops. It, it increases. How many mesos are dropped by your mobs that you kill? Um, increases the drop rate of pickpocket. Increases how much is being guarded by meso guard, and it reduces how much. Um, it, it it it'll make it so meso guard blocks 60% of your damage instead of 50%, which is quite a bit actually, surprisingly. And it'll increase how much meso explosion damage you do. So it it, it was the first skill I maxed. What I did at 120 though is I put one in Meso Mastery, one to Shadow Shifter and Boomerang Step, so I could have some avoid and invincibility frames. And then after that, I just went with Maxi Meso Mastery, and then I went to Boomerang Step. It just I don't know. It just seemed like the most useful. It's a passive, so when you click on it, it doesn't do anything. It just works its magic. Shadow Shifter, it, it's <laughs> I love this skill. It's basically a 45% reduction on how many potions you would use, quite frankly. It's so great, and until you get max boomerang step, I would say just keep shifter at level 1, because that's an 11% chance to dodge, which is 11, an 11 chance to, or an 11% chance to of a discount for your potions, which is quite a bit. Ninja Ambush is pretty terrible. Not going to go into it because it's a pretty bad skill. I will just level that up once you get all your other good skills down. Boomerang Step is a great skill. Um, I would say after Meso Mastery to max this. And just to keep in mind, Meso Mastery is max level 10. So don't think I'm not using a Mastery Book or something. There's no Mastery Books for it. Boomerang Step, every time you level it up, the amount of MP for it increases, the damage increases. Uh, at level 15, you can hit three monsters, and at level 30, you can hit four. So from 10 to 14, you only hit two, and from 15 to 29, you only hit three monsters. So I would say max this, legitimately max this. It's a really good, useful skill, and the damage and the stun chance increase, but you don't really notice that line hard. Here, I'll show you an example of that on this core mob down here.
So it's pretty good. It's another dagger skill. So obviously when you attack with pickpocket, it'll drop mesos. And they're, they're invin when you're in when you're in boomerang step, you have invincibility frames. So it helps with your avoidability along with the 45% of shadow shifter. Ow. Um, and here's see that's shadow shifter. You know shadow shifter is activated when you see the uh, dummy, the dummy wooden doll come out. So that's when you know Shadow Shifter is activated. It's different from just uh, just missing. Uh, smoke screen. I would say uh, smoke screen does have mastery books, so don't misinterpret that. It's master level is only ten. Um, smoke screen is really good. It's just a huge fog that you can never get hurt. See, this werewolf will never bother me. Um, and I would keep it at level 1 until you have every other thing maxed. Venom Stab, it's pretty simple. It's just, it's a passive, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's just, it poisons the monster. And it's really, surprisingly helps with your DPS and everything else. So I'd say after you get Boomerang Step, Shadow Shifter, and Mesel Mastery Max, I did Venom Stab, and I can't say I, that was a bad choice. I really can't. Um, the amount of damage that Venom Stab does is based on your top top uh, max attack. So 12 so 12,528 times 1.4 is how much uh, the damage will do, how much venom damage it will do. So the higher your damage, the more venom damage it does. So it, you really can't complain. Uh, Maple Warrior I haven't maxed because most people at Lionheart have Maple Warrior anyway, so I figured not waste of the hundreds and billions of mesos to get the books. Um, assassinate is surprise. I was honestly shocked when I tried assassinate because it is really useful. Um, I really can't complain that it's bad, actually. Here, I'll find a clean mob because it's level 16, but, I mean, watch the, and it's a 6 second charge, but surprisingly, 6 seconds is not that long when you're training at Lionheart. So, this is a clean monster, right? Damn. Stupid thing. So, I mean, it does really good damage. I mean, just doing those two assassinates already took it to almost half down, which is a lot of experience in a party. So, I would say what I did was obviously make max Maso Mastery, Boomerang Step, Shadow Shifter, Venom Stab, and now I'm working on Assassinate, and I really can't say that's a bad choice. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to do Smoke Screen, but I'm going to think about it between that and uh, Maple Warrior. So you really, I can't say it's bad. I mean, it's level 16, and I hit like four, like 600k on that crit. Now, granted, assassinate you can ignore the uh, second hit. You can get rid of the fatal attack if you press another. I'm not doing it here, but if you press another skill while you're doing the initial assassinate, um, you'll ignore the fatal attack at the end where you do the crits and you can do like boomerang steps so like if you know the monster is going to hit you or something you don't don't want to do the uh fatal hit so you can miss you can always just do like boomerang step and especially at lower levels of assassinate the crit is not that great so you can always just do more damage with boomerang step so i i can't see why uh, I couldn't do like one mil crits once assassinate is maxed. I really can't. So, um, and as far as bandits go, there's pretty much two kinds of attacks for people who are not big bandit know-alls. Um, there's dagger attacks and meso attacks, and I think it's pretty self-explanatory which ones are meso attacks and which ones are dagger attacks. Um, and just for the people who, for the people who are curious, Shadow Partner does not explode more mesos with meso explosion. Just get that out of the way. And and taunt does not work at doing uh, giving more experience from bear wolves or any Lionheart Castle mobs. So that's why I don't have that max also. Um, and as, if you have any other questions, by all means, send me a message on YouTube or if you're on Vera, go ahead, just contact me, whisper me. I don't care. Just, you know, just I'm always for a good chat. So um, hope this cleared up a lot of things and have a good day.